The snowy weather front, Daisy, brushed past Luxembourg, bringing only light snowfalls to the Grand Duchy without causing any major disruptions during the weekend. The temperatures remained around minus 5 degrees centigrade during the weekend and some light snowfalls occurred, but it was far from expected snowstorm. In Germany, on the other hand, 220 flights were cancelled and heavy snowfalls occurred throughout the country. In France, the weather was just as bad, especially in Lyon, where 800 passengers were stranded at the airport. Weather conditions are set to improve this week according to the Findel Airport Weather Service and sunny spells are expected for the end of the week. In a campaign of traffic controls during the weekend, the police confiscated no less than 14 driving licenses across the country, showing that drink driving remains a serious problem in the Grand Duchy. In two cases, the drunk drivers became verbally and physically aggressive with the officials. The police have also launched another campaign from today to fight against phoning while driving and to promote the use of seat belts. The campaign is due to last until the 18th of January. Phoning is only tolerated when using a Bluetooth device. Police officers will pay particular attention to children seizing in cars. The Africa Cup of Nations opened Sunday with Angola's president, José Eduardo dos Santos, condemning the rebel attack that killed at least two members of the Togo squad, but insisting the games would go on. The gun attack Friday in the northern province of Cabinda has cast a shadow over the opening of Africa's premier football tournament, which has been meant for the coming out party of the oil-rich nation after decades of civil war. Rebels ambushed the Togo convoy as they drove in the Cabinda enclave from neighbouring Congo Brazzaville on Friday. Separatist rebels threatened to carry out more attacks, saying they had warned the CAF boss, Issa Hayotu, against holding matches in Cabinda.